As mentioned previously, there is the possibility to trim clips in the bin window. By this, I mean to specify an alternative start and end point for a clip, so that any excess material at the beginning and end is left out when played. I'm going to use this clip as an example by opening it into the player by double clicking. So, I would like to use this clip not from its beginning, but starting from a certain position. And to locate to a certain position within this clip, I will use this cursor. Simply click and hold the mouse button. I don't like this section where the wing is hiding the aeroplane, so I would like to use it starting at a later position. And now I will use the left and right arrow keys on my keyboard to locate to the exact position I want to use as my start point. Having found the image that I would like to be the start point of my clip, I can use the set in point function. You can see that my thumbnail has been updated and the region that we are not using has been greyed out. Using the same method, I could find an alternative endpoint for this clip and then select it by using the set out point function. Obviously, if the end and start point are not quite right, then you can move them at any moment. Here, I can see another switch which I can use to set the preview window to display my trimmed section. By using this, we set the view to show just the region between my in and my out points, and I can review this region with the play function. In this way, I can clip by clip go through the clips and predefine their lengths by specifying the region required using the set in point and set out point functions.